And have you ever eaten yogurt for breakfast? I'm sure many of you have this morning. What about granola bars? Disturbing news this morning about some breakfast foods that we've all been led to believe are good for us. This segment coming up will change the way you eat breakfast, we hope. Fox & Friends Hour 3 starts right now. Looking forward to this segment, though. Yeah. Rich food, poor food, well, and it, it, it helps a lot if you eat more protein, they say, in the morning. You'll end up eating 200 fewer calorie, calories well, each day. Who thought granola bars were a good idea? I'd rather have a Snickers. Probably the same amount of sugar. Or a pastry. <laughs> pastry, uh, you know, bagels covered in uh, cream. Well, cream cheese is not so bad for you, but it's the bread. It's all of that. And, of course, the yogurt we're going to get to in just a moment, too, with all of the sugar that's packed into yogurt that people think that they're doing when they get the low fat, but then they shove high fructose corn syrup into it. Terrible for you. It, anything that's tasty is not good. That's not true. No, they have some, we had a delicious, of some good stuff. Yeah, we had a delicious roast chicken last night at my house. You should come over for dinner. My <laughs> wife would be uh, very happy to serve it to you, and you'd find it quite delicious. Healthy, too, by the way. She's probably watching right now, and you just earned some brownie points. That's right. Up. She just texted me. <laughs> and have you ever eaten yogurt for breakfast? Probably have. How about granola bars? Disturbing news about some breakfast foods we've all been told are good for us. That's coming up next. Do you ever find yourself pushing out the door in the morning and grabbing a granola bar or yogurt for breakfast? Turns out these simple items that we thought are healthy may not be after all. Mira and Jason Calton call these foods breakfast bombs. They're the authors of Rich Food, Poor Food. Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. First up, we have the Frappuccino yes. uh, that obviously tastes delicious but has as much sugar as candy bars, you say? Absolutely. 81 grams of sugar in the Starbucks Frappuccino. That's the same as all of those candy bars. It's three times the Wait, amount. Wait, not one, but all four? All of those. You're oh, eating okay. all of those. That's three times the amount that the American Heart Association thinks is safe to have in an entire day. So rather than melting down a Kit Kat, M&M's, <laughs> Butterfinger and sweet tarts, you say make your own frappuccino. It is so easy. Organic coffee gets rid of the pesticides. We add protein because if you have protein with your breakfast, you're going to eat 200 fewer calories in a day. And then we got rid of all the sugar. We added a little bit of stevia. Mm -hmm. In Rich Food Poor Food, we have a secret ingredient there. It's called stevita, and we have toffee flavored. So it tastes exactly the same. 100% of the sugar is gone. Now, to play devil's advocate, you do have to, to dirty up a blender, oh. and it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. It's worth Absolutely. it. You pay now or pay later, so you know it's much healthier, and you're going to have all those things gone. Okay, and cereal. This is another easy one we we like, and we think we're having something healthy when we eat this. It looks healthy until we look at the ingredients. There's six different forms of sugar in this cereal, five of which could be genetically modified. Not only that, the main ingredient in the cereal is really what's wrong with it: wheat. We used to think wheat was good for us, especially whole grains, but now science tells us that whole grains can spike the insulin as much as a candy bar. Not only that, people who eat wheat have been shown to eat four. 100 calories more a day than people who don't, and uh, this breakfast cereal can easily be swapped out for something simple. So instead? Sim exactly the same. This is our one of our favorite cereals in Rich Food Poor Food. It's Louise's 100% granola. There's no sugar, there's no grain, there's no wheat, there's no mm. preservatives, there's no GMOs, but it's got a lot of flavor. And it's got something else, chia, which is high in omega-3, the same omega-3 as your doctor tells you to take for your heart health and to... And for, for your, your brain health, For your too. brain and for I'm your stomach, try this. too. It's actually delicious. <laughs> It Sugar is. Free. Very good. Wow. Okay. And how about yogurt? Okay. Well, this is our breakfast bomb yogurt. You want to make sure you buy an organic yogurt. Non-organic yogurt like this one can have the cows actually eating genetically modified corn. So mm. we don't like that. Additionally, that sugary mess over there, four types of sugar, four likely GM um, ingredients. It looks and so pretty that having this, this dual set over here. You got the yogurt, you have the blueberry. Oh. But it's just kind of sludge. Exactly. Yeah. Now, that's prettier. That's a real berry over there. Okay, check this out. Yeah, yeah, that has our favorite yogurt, which is Stonyfield Organic Greek Yogurt. The fantastic thing is there's no synthetic hormones given to those dairy cows. That has been linked to cancer in humans. And we also use a pesticide-free organic berry that boosts up the nutrient value. And it's fantastic. There's as much protein in that as an entire can of tuna. Yeah, looking at the back of this, this is shocking to me. 23 grams of protein in a serving, in a serving. as opposed to how much in this? Seven. 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 That's a big difference. And all big of the difference. sugar is gone, so you're not going to spike your insulin. You're not going to start your day wanting more. There's pectin in there. Pectin is MSG. Makes you eat 40% more during the day. Mira and Jason, the name of your book? Rich Food, Poor <laughs> Food. And people can find out. And there's coupons for a lot of these foods on our website at ColtonNutrition.com. Just go to the Rich Food Resource Center. Great information, especially as we're all trying to figure out what to have, have for breakfast before we head out the door.